Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. Uh, last time we beat Chili, some, or no, I'm sorry, Skyland, somehow, I'm not, we had to break the unofficial rule of not healing in battle, but, uh, we did it, so, that's good. And I'm teaching Scarp how to use that workup. I was gonna teach Kibo, but apparently he can't learn it. And, uh, that'll just give him a decent boosting move, uh, I'm not sure how long Scarp will stay a member of the team, but until then, having something he can do, uh, to bo just boost his very minimal damage output is a useful thing. And this lady, Fennel, wants us to come up here and I think she, she gives us something, uh, She's talking about Professor Juniper, and yep, we got cut, so we can go back to that tree that we saw last episode and get into the further into the dream yard. Uh, she wants us to get Dream Mist to enable Game Sync, which A, I don't think works on an emulator, and B, me, would not work on uh, uh, regular DS anymore because Nintendo cut services for the old generation games and uh, I think just anything uh, outside of a 3DS game or a Wii U game, I think Wii, Wii games got their services cut, so if you have like Pokemon Battle Revolution, you can't do anything with that either, so it's unfortunate, but it's an understandable move. Uh, and here's Scarf Nose Cut now. So, uh, gives him a decent physical move. Not, like, outstanding or anything, but it'll at least let us, uh, get through things, and it leaves Kibo without using up his slot. And we have to go through this and collect the Dream Mist, even though it won't help us at all. Uh, just to progress the plot. And there's Bianca. Uh, is there an item over here? I think there was an item in that furnace, but... Let's check. And no, I guess not. Maybe it was behind it. Well, we can't reach there anyways. Um, I don't know. Uh, there's Muna. And we can get the dream smoke from it. But wait, it's the Knights Templar! Team Plasma is here! And they want the dream smoke, but why? They want to liberate Pokemon, and... Ah, they're going to use the Dream Mist to manipulate people's hearts. I'm not sure... I guess the people of Unova trust their dreams a lot if... Seeing in their dreams that they release their Pokemon would really make them do it in real life. But... I don't know. Maybe they really are that trusting here in Unova that they literally follow their dreams. Okay, we're having a battle, and it's a Patrat. We saw how well that went last time. <laughs> uh, it's using Fide, and we're using Water Gun. So yeah, we'll be able to take it out before the Fide goes off. That would have been really nasty if we were doing only like a third of its hit points. That Water Gun is just a bit too strong for it. So that takes care of him. Or was it her? I can't. I can't really tell between the two platforms. Like, if I'm looking at it really closely. Okay, yeah, this one's the one. The other one's the guy, I guess. But she's sending out a pro coin. And Kibo will take that again. I really want to get Kibo up to 17, where he will evolve into a duo. That's the wrong button. So we're going to be using Water Sport, which will have no impact on the battle, and essentially gave it a free turn. It's using Scratch again, don't do that. Alright, there's Water Gun, and that was quite enough to take it out. Now our accuracy is down, so we have to really help these kids. So I believe 
and we got it. There we go. Really simple battle that just progressed the game a bit. That takes them out. Damn. Oh, now they're kicking it. But it's Mr. G. And he's yelling at them for goofing off. Now they run away. But it wasn't actually him after all. It was a Musharna using dreams to show them what it wanted to show them to get them to leave, which maybe there was more credit to the idea of using dreams to control people's hearts. I don't know. It never really made too much sense to me, but I got rid of them. And there's the dream mist. So we can give it to her and get the game sync going, which we will not and cannot use. So really, this whole thing is just really absurd. But it's a required thing, so let's get out of here and get to the next route so we can get a new team member. Let's see, first we've got to go back to her lab. Which one was this one, I think? Yeah, there she is. And she gave us the C gear. Once again, not something we'll be using. I'm not even gonna bother turning it on. And this is Amanita, who runs the PC storage, and she gave us the PAL Pass, which is for Wi-Fi, which, as I've been saying all episode long, we cannot and will not use. But with that out of the way, we are free to go, finally. And we're gonna heal up real quick. And then we'll be on our way. Speaking of which, uh, Master Moses, in his most recent video, mentioned, issued a challenge to me that when we're both done with our Nuzlocks, we fight each other with our endgame teams, which is a very interesting idea, I will admit, but I think he forgot the fact that uh, it's a Nuzlocke. There is no guarantee that we will make it out alive. And I'm just fast-forwarding through this stuff here. Because it's just uh, grindy battles, not plot-related or anything. And uh, So, yeah, we'll just fast-forward through this. But as I was saying, uh, there is no guarantee that we'll make it out alive. And he even jokingly, jokingly said that if I wanted, I could use the Meryl since that was what made me angry in his video. Um, he also forgot the fact that the, in Unova there is no Meryl, um, so that will not be happening. I I wish I could use Meryl, but there is none here in Unova. So. Uh, now we've got to fight Sharon. And... Scarf took out his... Uh, and now Kibo's fighting Purloin. Uh, I forgot Purloin has a fist. If it uses Vine Whip, that could actually be pretty bad for Kibo. It won't get the stab on it, but it would still be super effective. So let's hope that this doesn't call up Vine Whip. Okay, it's still using the same set, which is also not good, but it's not as bad. We can switch it to the fix that. I go this Purloin, and I think that was, yeah, that was his last Pokemon. So that takes care of him. And, oh, there are those goons again. And it turns out that they stole this little girl's Pokemon. Um, so 
So I guess we're gonna go get it back. I mean, it's not like King Plasma is a hard thing to deal with, but oh. first, before we do that, we're gonna grab this super potion, which heals 50 point hit points, I believe. And it's a new route, so we can finally catch a new Pokemon. We had to go through the battle with Sharon and all that, so I grinded first. But our first Pokemon is Patrat, which, as I stated in the beginning, we will be using a species clause. So since I've already caught a Patrat in this run, we will not be catching Patrat. So let's look. So we're allowed to keep searching until we find a Pokemon that we haven't had on our team yet. And the second is a Patrat. So we won't be using him either. Her either. And we're gonna run. And what have we got here? Come on, number three. I think the only Pokemon we can get is Pit Up. Oh, a Blitzel! I haven't used a Blitzel actually. This is a lot better. Um, I don't think Scarf's Incinerate will be enough to take it down. I think we'll be fine if we use Incinerate. I actually want to use Blitzel, but that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, I didn't kill him. So we'll throw a Pokemon. I am still going to keep to the only using regular Pokeballs, except uh, maybe against Reshiram if we reach that far, I'll use the Master Ball just to not lose anyone near the end of the game because of stubborn pride. So, we'll nickname him David. Yeah. There we go. David the Blitzel. We're gonna go heal up real quick. That's a really useful thing. We don't have to run all the way back to town to heal. There's a, and she's also a lot faster than, po than Nurse Joy at the Pokemon Center, so that's useful. Um, let's see. So we've gotta head up to that cave and defeat Team Plasma. And, uh, real quick, I'm going to switch David to the front so he can get some experience. Also, uh, serious return. Alright, those are his stats and everything. Uh, he doesn't learn an electric move till later, like a real electric move. Uh, let me look at it. It's, uh, level 11, I think. Yeah, level 11. Alright, so with that out of the way, we can move onward. And up here is the cave. No, no real task to get to it. And inside, we're just going to fight Team Plasma right away, so... Uh, don't have to stay in the cave very long. But the cave is a new area, so once we take down Team Plasma, we can uh, catch another Pokemon here to bring our team up to four. Let's see, first, I'm gonna have to take down one plasma grunt on our own, and then I think the second one is the 18 battle with Sharon. Oh no, not another Patrick. I can't wait to get to some new areas where, the, where we see more diverse Pokemon than just Patrick's and only Pups and Pearl. Oh, that quick attack did nothing. I'm gonna switch David out. But yeah, I wanna see some other stuff. And I'm also, after that Patra, that wild Patrat took out two of my team members, I'm not thrilled to see them. I, I never was very thrilled to see them, but less thrilled than I was before to see them now. And let's see, Water Gun. Oh yeah, Water Gun will be enough. And this will also give Kibo some more experience. We're getting slowly closer to reaching uh, level 17 in the ball big game and getting some Razor Shell. And here are those, here are two more Team Plasma Grunts. And they think we're gonna beat us. And they might actually. Uh, we're kind of under level. The Pokemon around here don't give super great experience. But we've got Sharon here helping us, so hopefully he'll draw all their attacks to him. 
and we'll be fine, <laughs> and not lose anyone in this case. So I'd like to eventually get enough Pokemon where we've got a surplus, so if someone thinks we can pull someone out of the box and use them, and not have to worry as much. I mean, we'll still worry, but not as much. But, um, we're not sure how well that'll work, so... I'll use growth. Use something that'll actually, like, do damage or something. Use bite. Yeah, let's see. No, don't use tech. This just isn't going too well. Oh, we both attacked the same one that used attack. And it used fight. And it used leer and lowered both their defenses. Uh, maybe I should use tackle now since he lowered their defense. Oh, that almost took him down. Now they're attacking the sniper, which is good for us. Sharon isn't doing enough block, he doesn't have to release his Pokemon. But we do, so uh, let's hope they keep attacking Sharon. <laughs> we'll use Tackle since he lowered their defenses. Oh, we finally took out that one that we targeted. So we'll just... we almost took it out after that. We'll just use Water Gun. Oh, Sharon got him for it. There we go. No, it was not enough to give us the level up that we needed, but uh, David got a level up, so that's good. Alright. So they say that to liberate Pokemon, they're going to steal them, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, most of what Team Plasma says doesn't make too much sense, they're, or at least their ways of doing things. The actual story is pretty interesting, but I've already played through it twice, so we don't need to do it again. We're going to save it here, and next time we'll get a new Pokemon in the cave and move on to the next town. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you found this video to be entertaining, go ahead and click the subscribe button up there. And if you want, you can also click Master Moses' Heart Gold Nuzlocke, uh, where he's not using Pokemon Centers. Insane guy, that one. And the link to that is also on the screen. And uh, just thank you for watching.